At the southwestern edge of Mendocino County, there's a geological phenomenon that only appears when the tide is low. Hell, you're not gonna knock down any pins or hit a strike here. John Bartell, make a little pit stop at Bowling Ball Beach. The sandy cliff sides of Schooner Gulch State Beach offer some stark views along Highway 1. But if you take the steep staircase down the gulch and do a little rock climbing to the water's edge, you'll end up next to a row of spherical boulders. That's just wild. The boulders are round like bowling balls, but way too big for humans to pick up, posing the question, how did they get here? There's mystery around it. I mean, it could be aliens, right? <laughs> There's been a lot of speculation on how the bowling ball shaped rocks ended up here, but state park interpreter Steve Yehelka assures me that aliens had nothing to do with it. You know, as the water is washing over them over and over again, it just is forming these perfect spheres. Erosion, that's what's shaping the rocks around here, and erosion is revealing a geological phenomenon known as concretion, or the compression of sedimentary rocks. It, they compress, it's just pretty much compressed sand. The towering cliffside above Bowling Ball Beach is actually highly compressed sand, and every once in a while, pieces of the compressed sand break off and land on the beach. Over millions of years, the pounding waves erode the sandy rocks into smooth balls. Yeah, if you're a geology nerd, tell you what, it, it's, a, it's a place for you. Even if you aren't a geology nerd, there's a lot to do at Bowling Ball Beach. If you like to explore the tide pools, this is the place to do it. You may even find some shells. There's only a handful of places in the world that create rock structures like this. It's a great place to hike and take pictures, but remember, you can only experience the rocks at Bowling Ball Beach at low tide. So check a tide chart before you go. From Bowling Ball Beach, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back roads.